So I'm not rushing, spaced out swag, best believe I'm paper touching, super stupid flow, and you bitches can't tell them nothing, UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding, all I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand, UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding, all I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand me, got a sense for drama, so I always keep the cannon, this is the invasion, so watch out for our landing, standing, Tall, never too far. Spring and summer fashion, bro. I get it in the fall. Y'all about to start hating, and I don't mind at all. I'm a thriller like MJ, and my flow is off the wall. Who that? Who that? They're not from round. It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's a new face. I think it's a new face. I think it's a new face. They not from round here. Welcome to the mothership. Bitches, welcome back to the SS Who That, the livest podcast. This is the Who That podcast. Once again, this is B. What's up to all the listeners and the viewers that we have on live? Uh, thank you for everybody tuning in. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Uh, like always, we have the captain of the ship, Demario. What's up, y'all? What's up, uh, all uh, Columbia and everybody else out there Japan. listening. Yeah, we had somebody in Japan. What's up, y'all? <laughs> so, um, B, how was your week, buddy? Oh, man, it's pretty good, man. I've just been hanging out. Uh, my son just started football season. I feel like I'm not close enough. But my son just started football season, and right. I've been working, uh, doing photography. Uh, just what did you shoot? What did you shoot, man? Um, just some like real creative stuff. I did a few interviews. Well, I did one interview for a documentary I'm finishing up with Evan Gray on his uh-huh. uh on his tour that we went on uh, back in March. Right. We uh doing the, the post work on that right now. Is so. that like the promo? Um, kinda, kinda. Like yeah. the interview is gonna is gonna be in the in the final thing, the final uh. Uh, doc, right? But we did get some some side interview also that's going to be using in just uh, promo and 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 sneak peek type clips and shit. But right. so did that, and then I I just got some real creative little cool little yeah ideas and promotional yeah, stuff. Yeah, just some some friends and just to take pictures. Right, right, right. But I like that type of shit. And shout out to everybody that hit me up on my post uh, that wants to do some theatrical photo shoots. We're gonna get on that. We're yeah, Brandon's got up. a listed amount of. Uh, different ideas creative stuff that he's got that he wants people to participate in so make sure you check out his page and kind of kind of go from there what's what's some of the ideas um 
We got the Black Jessica Rabbit. Uh, somebody wants to do um, painted in gold up against the green screen. All gold, everything. All gold, painted in gold. <laughs> uh, we have a body painter too that uh, said that she wants. She's down for that. So yeah. shout out to her. I can't remember your name right now. Sorry, but we have a body painter. I'm gonna be in contact, baby. Uh, <laughs> um, motorcycle, of course. The Harley look. Uh, right now, you know up. I've done a few bikes. Have you ever seen any of my bikes? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what gave me an idea to put on the list. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, Shout out to Lyle. He he passed away this year. Um, but he used to always hook me up with some cool bikes, and he had a cool shop that he he always opened his doors up to me. And anytime, you know, he just all he ever asked for was he wanted copies of the pictures that's it cool yeah he was a cool guy that's so. cool as hell so. hey if anybody wants to cut that same deal with me be cool and hit me up like, I, I imagine we probably need to hit rachel up she's you know yeah she's, she's bike associated kind of yeah yeah well she's under the weather right now so i guess when she gets to feeling better i'll ask her about right that. yeah for yeah. sure for sure so yeah, shout out to rachel hope you you're feeling better Donna. yeah we miss you here yes wherever you may be Laid so, in the bed it, Yeah <laughs> <laughs> So But Yeah but what about you man I ain't um, I did I did some photography I did some photography today actually yeah. I had a family shoot uh, Shout out to Leanne for uh, Booking me for that And um, It was cool It was just some simple family portrait type shit You know Nice Yeah so nice. I'm sure it came out dope though Yeah I watched I watched Brightburn you would you mentioned this you had texted me about it, I didn't respond. Yes. <laughs> I liked it. Like so I don't know how it? everybody else felt about it. It was like if they took Superman's origin story. You know how Superman land crash lands in this pod yeah. to this country folk they always wanted a kid and they mm -hmm. raise them. Right. Well, they start to raise them and it was like they took that story and made it if Superman did not turn out to be a good person. Uh, oh man, you want to talk about Superman slaughtering some niggas? Oh. <laughs> like this little boy was slaughtering the fuck. There was nobody who could stop him. The <laughs> like one black Peter. character in the movie was like, "I'm coming." It was like, "Shwoom!" <laughs> and it was just oh. a blood splatter on the wall, and that was yeah. it. Oh yes, have you seen it? Did you see it? No, I, didn't. I haven't seen it. Okay, oh, okay. I'm very interested in seeing it. Oh, movie. it's it's like evil Superman kid, like yeah. evil it Superman. It is. So how old how old was he before he like he was twelve when he started killing everybody damn he didn't yeah. get puberty yet he didn't even know he had powers till he was 12 so as soon as he got powers he's like i'm fucking shit up yes yeah oh you seen it, I seen it yeah. yes they, that little boy was fucking everybody up y'all everybody if you get a chance check it out it's bright man and I, I don't want you to spoil it but i definitely have to go watch it because i want to know how they end up stopping him because i know they had to figure out a way to stop him this is the end of the movie so right. I, I gotta go see it <laughs> Don't don't spoil it. For I'm me. not spoiling right. shit for you. You gonna right. watch it? I'm gonna go see it. I'm gonna go watch it. <laughs> I got a fire stick. I can do that tonight. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. So, do you want to introduce our guest first, or do you want to talk about this uh, this suicide? Uh, <laughs> 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 this murder. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, let's introduce the guest, like so she can jump in on the on thoughts. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, first off, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. Okay. But she is an entertainer. She's a fire dancer. She's a mermaid. She's doing mermaid kits where you order your kit, and I guess you guys are showing people how it's, to. It's like packages that they can book classes with us to learn, like synchronized swimming. Right. Um, just like how to pose as mermaids and stuff like that, you know? Okay. All right. Well, that'd be interesting. And then there's people are interested in that because I had a couple cast members like repost your your post announcing it and they were like, Hey, do y'all know what this is about? And I was like, well, she's gonna be on the show. Just come and ask her, you know what I mean? They're yeah. like, Really? And I was like, Yeah. Okay, so, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad so it's actually getting out now. It is. People I've had two people hit me up and that doesn't sound like a lot, but the amount of space that's between us, because you made about, what, about an hour drive? Yeah. Yeah. About. You know, so that means word reached all the way down here. Okay. Yeah. That's what <laughs> my goal was. Right, right. <laughs> so that's good. That's good. And on the other side over here, we have uh, the Muffin Man. 
Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Hey, stretch that mic out for him. Stretch it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. Yeah. So, and he, what he does is 3D printing. If you want to hold up some stuff so they can see. They can see here, you know. But he does 3D printing. He can print toys. He can print pretty much anything. Anything you can think of can be printed out. Right, Mm -hmm. right. Just all kind of stuff. Stuff in any kind of detail that you could ever think of. Yeah, you can put you can put like wires through them, electronics. You know, all that LEDs and stuff in it. Yep. Yeah. And I through the white that shines a lot. Really good through the white. Yeah. Do yeah. I really think 3D printing is super the future. Like I know people yeah, are doing it right now, but oh yeah, they're to me they just scratched the surface. Oh yeah, and it's been around for a long time. I mean, even welding is is pretty much the similar thing as this. I mean, it's all additive manufacturing, you mm-hmm. know, pretty much. So, right. I mean, it's just a, a a layer by layer process, you know, building building a model. So yeah, yeah it's pretty so, cool. Yeah, he, what we have him doing for us right now is he is putting together our helmets for when we go to the cosplay events you know we're gonna have the whole it's like space uniform it's, it's not a space suit it's like a a pilot suit and our pilot helmets for the who day you know for the the storyline that we do so if you look brandon's got it in his hands now it's not painted yet it's just kind of skinned and it's really thick and durable like Very. this thing is thick, y'all. Yes, like this, this, this can really stand up. So, like I could hit you in the face and knock your ass out with that bitch. Oh, this yeah. could be a weapon. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Could. this could be a weapon. <laughs> yeah, it, it went through a pretty good drop test. I put it through a pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I threw That's it all impressive. over the place. <laughs> so. This is dope. So, all right. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, too. I'm going to get some cosplay pussy while I have this. <laughs> there you go. I can, I can see it now. You're going to have oh, yeah, the, uh, yeah. the jumpsuit tied around your waist, Man, showing the, the abs the, off I'm and shit. You. Oh, we can do the chest plate, armor, all kinds Hell of stuff. Hell yeah. You know, we can get it all on there. Cosplay ladies, yeah. I'm coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, go ahead. Lead us into this, uh, this suicide. The right? murder. Yeah, the murder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, big news yesterday. Um, I don't know what the day is, uh, but big news. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein was killed in his jail cell. <laughs> he said <it> was killed. <laughs> like, and that was a very big high profile case. But suicide. He was he yeah. committed suicide. But, and I'm going to post this video also, mm-hmm. on one of the... Um, the news reports or whatever they have the news the news anchor on the phone mm-hmm. and he's talking about like he's telling a story yeah. right so you know i'm here at the hospital and they transported him and they found him hanging in a cell and and he was in the cardiac arrest and then was transported to the hospital and later died at the hospital what that's what actually happened oh wow so it's, it says died in jail cell but he was in he was in cardiac arrest and then died at the hospital. So how does somebody on suicide watch be able to kill himself and then die at the hospital? I'm right. just saying. Yeah. But <laughs> but this was a very high profile case because it was uh, sex trafficking, and he right. was friends with Donald Trump and uh, hmm. Bill Clinton. Yeah, high, a lot, he had a high, high with that woman. <laughs> <laughs> he had a high. Uh, a high dollar clientele list. So what he had a uh, what did he have like a sex island and a sex orgy island. Orgy um, island and then he had <laughs> what was it? Um the hotel, no, the apartments. The, yeah, he had an apartment Jeez. complex in downtown New York, dude, in Manhattan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was all dedicated to yeah. underage That's girls. Satellite. What the yeah. fuck, man? This dude had an island That's and crazy. A, an apartment building. Right. Uh, the island was like 70 acres, dude. <laughs> like, wow. So, yeah, yeah, man. That's... And the apartment building, and then he had this uh, a, a jet that was like retrofitted with beds. What? Like, well, not retrofitted. You know the beds that come out the wall. Yeah, I know. But like, yeah, but it was retrofitted mm-hmm. with beds, so you could have sex on the, on a jet. Wow, yeah. pretty much close enough to a spaceship. Yeah, 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 yeah. close enough, like yeah. a motherfucker. Right. So That's he crazy. had like all these like tricked out things or like special things, like just to have sex with underage kids. Like, wow. And like Bill Clinton rode on his jet like fifty times since oh, two thousand two. Wow. Like, wow, that's disgusting. Yo, bro, it's it's the wildest thing that all of this is coming out. Yeah. And uh, this one cartoon I saw on YouTube was like our cartoon president or something like that. I uh-huh. think it's like on Showtime. Right. But uh, they 
did a little satire about it, and it was Donald Trump and Bill Clinton both sitting down together, uh-huh. like doing a, a, a presidential um, debate. No, like when address. A presidential okay, address. all right, gotcha. And they were like, they were like. Uh, we have no ties to this man. <laughs> <laughs> we have no they ties have to this man. This is a horrible, great friend of mine. <laughs> hey, you know, you know, he was probably like Hillary. Yeah, I need you to take care of this nigga. <laughs> I need you to take care of this nigga now, because you know she the killer in the family. Oh she yeah, a gangster. she's the gangster. Yeah, not him. <laughs> Hillary got a it's body. <laughs> Bill Bill looks like he is lost. Like yeah. completely lost, you know? Like Bill is getting paid and getting pussy. He's uh, fine. Well, He's you fine. know, he is like Hillary found out the keto man a long time ago. She was like, You just smile and play that saxophone <laughs> and I'll take care right. of the rest. <laughs> right, right. So so what? We everyone's in agreement we think he was killed? That's I, what I, would, so. I would sway that way. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Yo, and shout yeah. out to Absolutely like us being so. in a place and time oh, yeah. to where mm-hmm. like <laughs> now we're so open to information to where we can, as a population, look at something and just already know it. Like, ah, oh, nah, nah. Right. Like before, and when I say before, I mean like just 2001, like 9-11 type shit. Right. It wasn't like that. It was just on some... Oh wow! Whatever information mm-hmm. they gave us, we is had to what take. you oh, had. Yeah. Is, that's it. We've been so, on we've been on code orange since that for sure. Yeah, sure. everybody's been scared. Like a motherfucker. They want to keep everybody afraid. And yeah. like now, now that we're at a, at a point where like some shit will happen, we're like, oh no, 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 that ain't real. That ain't right. Who are you lying to? <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. But there is a conspiracy theory that that he's not dead. That he like I left saw the that. country. No, no, they they said they what they swapped him out in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, that was a 4chan post that was talking about they swapped him out in the middle of the night. And I, like, eh, I don't know if I'm stretching it that I far. Now, am I stretching it? Yeah, they dropped you know a nigga two three hundred k to hang that nigga in there. You know what I mean? Because yeah. people got to realize, look, COs will sneak shit yeah. in for regular inmates. Right. So what <laughs> you think exactly. the billionaires? You're right. A billionaire get a CO to do anything. You know. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so, it. They they sneaking cell phones, cigarettes, dope, everything in for little pay from these damn inmates. Hey, hey, Matt, so, and if you uh, throw into the fact that uh, where he was housed, like uh, the feds, yeah, they had him in the feds, right? Right. They just was on shutdown in January. He he need a check. Yeah. He need, he's yeah. trying to get paid. Right? Like, yes. He ain't get paid for like nine weeks. So right. You gonna, me, you gonna give me a quarter meal? All I gotta do is. Off him? Yeah, it's off this old nigga. She, off the old guy? Yeah, yeah, that's easy. Fuck that. The dude that already messed with kids, I'll do it for half. Hey, look, and you know, he was probably got to work and was like, bro, I give you like a grand to help me kill this nigga right now. And that dude was like, for real? <laughs> <laughs> they was in. They was all for it. You know what I mean? But you know what? They'll end up dead eventually, too. That's the way they clean up. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. They die in a car accident or something yeah. randomly. Don't even get to enjoy the money. Just a random car accident, too. Yep. How the fuck you leave and, and you ain't know your tires about to fall off? Right, <laughs> right. The nigga died twenty yards from his driveway. What? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Wouldn't even make the news. They'll say it's a suicide. Yeah, for real. For real. <laughs> he took the lug nuts off him, but then went on a ride. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> There's a note in the driveway. Yeah. So, who wants to go first? You want to do? You want to do? Uh... I want to do Bambi uh, Blue Moon. Okay, we are gonna do Bambi first. That's a, just a dope name. I've been waiting to see it. <laughs> <laughs> so introduce yourself. You can tell okay. everybody what you do. And okay, do my it. name is Bambi Blue Moon. I am an aerialist. I do fire, flow arts. Um, I'm also a mermaid. Yeah. I love being a mermaid. That one. Yeah. Is a lot that one tops it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cause we are about to open up a school in October. Um, I think it's like the first week of October. That Saturday, we're gonna have our first hour of classes. Nice. Uh, we're gonna just learn synchronized swimming that day, like a whole, like, I'm gonna choreo- choreograph everything. Right. Um, so where did you get this idea? So it's actually, I'm like the marketing director of that. The okay. person who is in charge is Erica Nash. Okay. She is like a franchisee of uh, Aqua Mermaid that was started in Canada. Okay. Um, so that's how we got started with that. All right. Well, that's cool. Um, so what is that? What's what's the cost for that for the people that want to? 
Well, it's seventy five dollars, I think, a month. Uh Um, Right now, Uh we're you know just trying to figure everything out. Um, But on the site, it's saying seventy five dollars for the classes, and you can also go on uh, a link from my page, which of course my page is Bambi Blue Moon. Uh Um, And then you can we can also book uh, parties like bachelorette and birthday parties we can even go to people's houses oh, wow. we don't actually have to have water i mean right because i mean i have a lot of aerial equipment and just equipment that would look cool for a mermaid to just be doing right right okay all right yeah so how do you book a mermaid performance because like, me. like synchronized swimming right yeah i'm into synchronized swimming i like watching it how, like, once you have a class that you've trained and you choreographed and everything, if somebody wants to book that, what is actually needed? Do they need the, the whole pool? Like, like, how much does that yeah, actually... Yeah, well, that's, so we're actually doing... I mean, I'm sure we can even do it at um, the pool that we are booking all these classes at, which is Boost Fit Club mm-hmm. in Bell Mead. Bell Mead, um, okay. Yeah, uh, but we we're actually booking through like me and Erica. We like people can just contact us and let us know what they want. You know, then we can tell them all the prices because each party is different. It depends on like how many is going to be at this party. Like what is it for? Right, it right. just it varies. So it's like just we you'd have to talk to us, but now, we will book those parties. Is cool. this what you do full time? No. I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. I know, I know that feeling. Yeah. So. Um, so right now I'm just doing a lot of burlesque dances. I'm doing like circus acts with freaks and geeks. Okay. Um, Dope. It's a Fire. lot of fun. So the burlesque that's like uh, like the Vegas style shows. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. The difference between stripping and burlesque. There's a fine line. <laughs> There's a fine line because, I mean, it's still stripping. Because, right. I mean, I'm taking off my clothes for right. tips for, right. you know, for a profit. Right. But you're not really, like, showing everything right. unless ding, it's, like, ding, uncensored. Ding, ding, ding. To me, burlesque is, I mean, burlesque is more of a show than it is a performance in a way you know like strippers perform to me they come (laughs) out they do yeah yeah it's hard it's very hard doing that because you have to be you know mentally able like with yourself and very comfortable with yourself and it's nerve-wracking whenever for the stripping or the burlesque both i mean Uh, like even for a stripper i mean you're taking off your clothes for for Uh, people to watch and i mean Some people, like, oh, yeah. you know, already have that confidence and, you know, they're never nervous, but, you know, rarely you find that. Right. Because right. every time I perform, even when I know exactly what I'm doing, I'm still nervous. Uh-huh. I'm still very uh-huh. nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I can imagine. I had someone tell me one time, they were like, yeah, I could be a really successful stripper if I didn't have a drug coping thing to go along with it what she was saying was she strips for cash but then she's got to use these drugs to cope with stripping for cash you know what i'm saying yeah damn what? that's a hell of a paradigm to be in yes that's a that's a clusterfuck yeah, it is i mean sometimes you strip for cash because you're good at it and people like it because she probably is beautiful but morally it fucks you up oh damn Sometimes yeah. you gotta get that money, honey. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes it can fuck somebody up. Sometimes people are, you know, very proud of what they do, and I right. mean that's fine. Right. Some people, it's just how they look at it. Some people are literally doing it just so they know that they have a bunch of cash for drugs, either. Right. Or you know, for whatever. And some people are actually doing really good, like right. they're trying to go through college, like right. raise, that's raise e- kids, man. Yeah, just raise, raise kids, kids all yeah. together. Was, like, don't get me wrong, I'm a fat guy. If I was a beautiful woman, I would be. Oh, I'd be a hoe. Yes, I'd, I'd be. be I'd fuck my way to the top. I would. <laughs> I would. Yes, I would. I would I'd, rule the world in four years. I thought yes, this out. I know how yes, to do it. Done. Oh my god. So I do pretty good for a fat male. Can you imagine if I was banging female? Oh man! Oh my god! So my financial accounts would be a 
amazing. Right, multiple streams of income. I got a porn hub. I got a Patreon. I got a, you know what I mean? I got everything. I got a few senators. Yep. I don't say nothing to nobody. I got a, I got a daytime <laughs> sugar daddy and a nighttime sugar daddy. And a nighttime oh sugar daddy. Because one got that. That'd be great. Right. One got to go to sleep early. I love free money. Right. Just, man. just, yeah, throw it, man. Proper <laughs> pussy management is all you need. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would be a whole ho. God knew what he was doing when he made me a guy. He was yeah. like, no, this one right mm-hmm. here. He's checking out to it. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. So, what have you been doing longer? I've been doing pole dancing and aerial acts longer than I've been doing anything else. Yeah. So, the aerials, that include like the hoop? That- yes. That's actually my favorite and like okay. so, so. almost like my one, two performance that I'll actually go to whenever I'm performing is like the lira, which is the aerial hoop. The lira, that's yeah. what it's called. Yes. All right. We've been calling it the, uh, the hula hoop. <laughs> the hula well, I mean, the hula hoop, it just goes around yeah. you know, your body. <laughs> Damn. So, right. uh, shout out to everyone watching. I see some people. Uh, Teresa, hey. Um, Smokey, what up? Long time. Oh, I guess we're so over smoke. here. <laughs> so, anyways, come on. Let's keep it rolling, though. But, um, so the Lyra, I've been to a few performances. Shout out to uh, Evan Gray. He's had a few. I like Lyra. He had a few Lyra dancers. <laughs> Do you know Evan Gray? No, I don't think so. We you need definitely to make that should. connection. Yeah, sure. and Jasmine. Uh, because yes, Jasmine wants to speak to you about um, fire, fire Ooh. dancing. Yes. She does. Uh, she's got a modeling agency, and she models herself. Oh, that's, that's yeah. Great. And she puts yes. on a lot of art galas. Ooh. So she yeah, she probably had you come perform yes. or something. Because I just bought like some new like palm torches. Yeah. I did you bring any of that stuff? No, no, uh, no. Uh, I was thinking because I did bring. Um, I do have my twenty foot rig in my car though. What? Hold on. So, what is it? Okay, so I thought what? about it whenever I started loving circus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wanted to invest in this right. because once you're a circus artist, you have to have a lot of skills in order to be booked. Right. Um. So I also was like, okay, I need equipment too. So I got all the equipment that I could possibly need, and I got this 20 foot rig Mm -hmm. it's adjustable it goes from eight feet to 20 feet but i can put silks on it sling trapeze lira and do any performances inside or out how much does that like because i would just like that at my house just to see that type of shit (laughs) Yeah. You do private yeah, shit, like, cause that is just that just sounds cool as shit. Yeah, I'm actually like I contract myself because I've been trying to just do this full time. You um, should. Um, so I mean, anyone can book me for any kind of like flow arts or my aerial performances. I also mm-hmm. have like connections where you know I'm friends with other aerialists. Like if they need like an actual show with more aerialists or fire acts or. Oh, wow. I can ask and oh, even man. see. Yo, what's your Instagram? How do we? Yeah, how do how I we, see some of this? You got your Instagram? So, let me this sounds look amazing. To make sure. uh, uh, oh. I know, I know it's Bambi Blue Moon, but some for some reason, uh, yeah, it's like I think I had to put underscores or something on yeah. it. Yeah, it yeah, it's Bambi underscore Blue underscore Moon. Oh, <laughs> that's all right though. Yeah. Like, that's just a long name. People, well, people have all kinds of stuff. They're like, yeah, I'm a daycare worker. And you're like, what's your Instagram? And they're like, oh, it's Firecrotch69. You know what <laughs> I mean? You're like, what? Whoa. Like, what? Why did you take it there? I don't want you watching my kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, at least it's relevant. You know? Yes, and also my Facebook page is Bambi Blue Moon as well. And it's yeah. just fully that. Jasmine, I know you're watching. Go to Bambi Blue Moon Facebook page right now. <laughs> yeah. they someone asked me if you know Abby Costello. Oh yes, because I perform her burlesque acts oh. um, Thursdays uh, every other Thursday. But um, I actually just finished. Where can we see that? Well, I'm not booked for the next one, oh. and I'm not sure when the next month's one are actually going to happen. She hasn't uh. said anything to yeah. me yet. Okay. All right. But uh, I actually just introduced like one of my creepy stalker acts, and you can <laughs> see that. Uh, on my was that in the blazer? Yes, yeah, that I was my that. whipped cream act. Your whipped cream, whip act. cream act. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I underbooked this shit. Like yeah. I should have been like, "Hey, we need you to come on with the whipped cream act For real? and uh, the fire shit." You know. And then I did do uh, Toddzilla's ripping, roaring like rock and roll circus the other day. What is that? Um, yeah. It's 
bunch of circus acts with a rock and roll band. Oh, nice. That's pretty. And is the band's so performing the whole time? Nice. Yes, the yeah, band dude. is performing the whole time, and then we have all the performers come out. And oh. actually, he is uh, engaged to Abby Costello. Oh, okay. All right. Damn, yeah. that sounds cool as yeah, shit. That's a cool How old are you? I'm 25. How long have you been doing this? Uh, three years. Damn, this sounds dope. Yeah, this seems like yeah. quite the lifestyle. For real. Yeah. For real. I started uh, recently with my axe, with my pole dancing axe in particular, I decided to start wearing 10 inch heels. Yeah. With uh, like seven and a half inch platforms. With beta fish in the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I, I thought about that. Yeah. I was like, that'd be cool. Yeah. But yeah, uh, cool. it definitely brings like an oomph to my performances because a lot of people are intimidated by 10 inch heels yeah. so mm-hmm. wow a lot, a lot of people love to see that <laughs> so how t- i wonder how tall that puts you at um i th- think it's like six five or something six or s- five or six <laughs> six something like that yeah the uh, fuck out of here yeah, right <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Six, six, five. Five. yo shout out to my strippers in nashville which <laughs> i gotta step it up <laughs> like, yeah. geez, most strippers have to they have to wear like six inch or like it's a a minimum of what you have to wear when you're stripping yeah and i mean you have to they're know how on, to they're not on walk. 10 inches yeah, that's they're not crazy. in 10 inches. I mean, I'm sure they can if they wanted to, obviously, wow. but... I don't know. That probably does wonders for your calves, doesn't it? You probably yes. look like you have just Wonder Woman calves with yes. those things. Like, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, because the heels end up going up to my thigh. Yeah? Like, all yeah, the way up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man, we didn't, we didn't set up the soundboard. Maybe we're gonna do the soundboard. Oh, we didn't do that. Sorry, cool. y'all. This next episode. Some, yeah, next, next episode. episode. <laughs> so we're gonna do the soundboard with all these sound effects. When you said all the way up, I was thinking I had a sound sample in there. It was like all the way up. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that'd, that'd have been, been cool. great. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so what did um, the future? Wait, 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 wait. What is a palm torch? Oh, palm torches. It's just like a. They either wrap around your palm or they wrap around like your fingers or where you can put around all your fingers Mm -hmm. and you can actually like belly dance, just dance around like with fire in your hand. Right. It's beautiful to see. Are those on Amazon? I think so. You can buy anything. You can buy anything on Amazon. We can can find her on Amazon. (laughs) (laughs) Like I need a Bambi. Let me. (laughs) I'm going to get a palm torch. So you just. It just wraps around your hand, you light it on fire, and now you just have a palm of fire. Yeah. That's hard. <laughs> That's hard. I don't know what I'm going to do with this shit. Oh, I'm there is a t- show coming up this Uh-oh. Saturday. Yeah? That. You're going to be it in? Was the last, yeah, it was the last minute that I was going to be in. That's uh-huh. why it almost slipped my mind. But I think I'll be wearing my 10-inch heels. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's at the Music Valley Events Center. Where's that? That's yeah. near Opryland. Okay. Have you done the Big Top? Yes. Oh, Okay. Shout out to That's Teresa. the one. Yeah, I was like, that's the one uh, I was talking about that Abby was engaged. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So apparently Teresa does booking. We had Teresa on before you. Oh, really? Yeah, last week. And she's like, uh, what's she doing? Booking and promotion? Uh-huh. And she hey, Teresa. does, I'm guessing she does promotion for the same people you're for. Oh, that's with. cool. Yeah, yeah. So maybe give her a shout. Go back and look through the comments. She's there. Oh yeah, I will. Yeah. She's trying to break into hip hop a little bit too, so it should be interesting. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So okay. Um, now, yeah. falls with this aerial. Have you taken any falls? No, actually, I never. Haven't. No, never. Oh, no. Because I stopped my. Yeah. Please, please. please. Yeah, please. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I haven't only because I always use my grip whenever I am on anything metal. Right. I use grip even if I'm on like sling or silks because it sticky hands like my hands sweat. I right. need To put grip on, and I know my strength when I know I'm feeling weak. Right, it's a no go. Yeah, I will back up what I'm doing yeah. or just stop completely because if I don't feel able, I'm not going to take a fall to my head. Right, right. And just break something or right. anything. Okay. Now, it's very dangerous. You you do you work a 9 to 5? No. It's no? it um, it's like a gas station, so I mean, I just work. That's okay. Yeah. Look, that is. Do you know what I do? Uh, Hold on, let's let's take a minute back here, okay? Let's get back to reality for a second. Brandon, what do you do for a living? 
Uh, I put seats in, in. That's it. And we make seats. <laughs> we, we have a whole. I process worker seats. comp claim. So like. Don't be. A, we all got nine to fives. These yeah. yeah. you'd be surprised oh, yeah, how many decks. celebrities still wait tables and shit. You oh man, what? Cash is cash. Yes, you ain't never googled no. it. No. Yes, there's a lot of celebrities that literally still wait tables and stuff out in Hollywood just to bring in extra money when they're not acting. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. For real. Yeah. For real. For real. For real. Dude, I'm telling you, if I get one movie deal and I get like three hundred k. You shouldn't have to wait tables. You better like, fucking invest some money in it. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, what? Like, well, you got to understand, you're thinking about living here. Yeah. They live in Hollywood where, like, it's a, a really cl- expensive. A there. closet is like 15, 2,500. Just sleep in a little closet ass. And apartment. that's what I'm doing. Yeah. What I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. I ain't moving to Africa. So <laughs> I'm going to be a king. I'm gonna book me one movie and dip because the <laughs> cost of living is too high. Yeah, it is high. <laughs> Fuck that. I was looking at yeah. going to the Philippines, dude. You can flip your money in the Philippines. Oh, I ain't talking about moving, like living. No, nah, you can go over there, yeah. get you some land, get you and some investments over there. Yeah, bro. man. But it was yeah, like yeah. the cost of living. I, I read a couple articles and they were talking about like not the cost of living, but when they were vacationing there, they were only spending like seventy five dollars a day. That's vacationing, like going out to. eat Hotel room, souvenirs. taxis, yeah, whole, all that whole shit. Whole shebang, bro. Yeah, what? I keep loose contact with the guy on the Philippines. Yeah, dude. They're obsessed with they're obsessed with America over there. Scooter, if you're gonna talk, come on over so you can kind of pick up on his mic. Yeah. No, but the Philippines, man. I look this up all the time. Like the top ten cheapest the uh, cost vacation spots. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, Bangkok, Indonesia, the Philippines, uh, Brazil, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, um, Trinidad for some reason. Then uh, up Trinidad there, got some bad bitches, it, bruh. Then, uh, <laughs> Sorry. Up then there's Spain. Um, they have the town, but it's in Spain. Uh-huh. And then it's the other two I can't remember right now. But I look that shit up all the time. I'm for real. Yeah. I'm gonna get me a nice little stack of money. And I'm going to go be a king somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, I fuck that. What, that what's, sounds nice. What's the end game? I just want to be a full-time performer. Yeah? I just want to do everything, like, all the time. So that's, think about this, because I always... Yeah. You're going to have to figure out a way to turn that into residual income. Yeah. Because you can't be 65, 70 years old swinging on the pole still okay <laughs> like they're gonna be throwing like She's gonna coupons things. and shit at you <laughs> like oh you know and they're not gonna be funny. like so what's the end game what's beyond that She's gonna do a uh, circus fitness uh, have yeah. a YouTube page and an Instagram page where you can get fit by doing circus moves and you're gonna teach like, people them people make money off of like teaching right. 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 I'm also doing that wow. too I'm right. teaching and you know that's all I want to do is like perform and teach. Oh. Like I self fire dancer tummy tea. Boom. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hold, on, hold on here. What about what is that I hear? Oh, that's you. Okay, <laughs> I was like, I hear something. What about what? What about you get you a developer to develop to develop an app where you can book extraordinary acts. Hmm. And you just use advertisement and you use your connections you've made in this business to, you know, like if I want to go in there and I want a mermaid, I can, you know, go directly and book to the mermaid. You know what I'm saying? Or And it's, it's all extracurricular things. Okay. And then you use advertisement. That, that's a really good idea. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I like <laughs> so, that idea. Right. So, and it just becomes the platform and people can, I wouldn't let people review the people there because reviews can get sloppy. People. Yeah. yeah. But you can uh, maybe do a ranking system instead of reviews. And, you know, this girl's got 100% ranking in belly dancing and, you know. All kind of stuff like that. Make it a platform, and they can directly book through them, and they, it, you have a level of accountability through the app. That would be a great idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's probably gonna happen. Like, we should some, do yeah, that. Yeah, it's like that's probably gonna happen now. <laughs> yeah. Somebody tag a developer. I don't know. I got one. Oh, don't worry. This guy be steps ahead. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, I'm gonna contact you. Not Jeff Carr. Jeff Boschers. I think it's Boschers. 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 
Yeah, yeah he is. He develops mobile apps. I need I need Jeff Boschers. I have a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's going to be a um a nigga GPS system. Nigga GPS. Yeah. Like you tracking niggas? No, no, no. The GPS, <laughs> the voice is just going to talk to you more real. It's oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, Slow down, nigga. Hey, turn left. <laughs> I told you. Uh, you now you got to turn around with your stupid ass. Yeah. <laughs> Slow down. It's coming up. Slow down, nigga. Wow. That nigga gets caught in a loop, nigga. Go, go, go. It's going to be a, a nigga GPS system for, for all the real niggas in the world that, that get tired of uh, the, the little... Turn, yeah, no, no, stop. Yeah. Hey, you better turn right quick, bro. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. <laughs> oh, shit. Slow your ass down. You know the police be sitting up here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it just knows that. Right. It, it does. Sunset. You know the police be up here. Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> police put down that blunt. <laughs> so, but yeah, think about that. Yeah. No. It's already. I have in look, the works now. Right. In my brain. See, I'm like, there That's it a is. Great idea. Yeah. So I have a bunch of like retirees like friends of my mom's and stuff and they hit me up and they'll be like i'm thinking about retiring to be a photographer i'm like why would you do that like you physically have to go do those shoots you're retiring like i don't think people know that though people don't know that like that it's physicality at all yeah with photography it just seems like a very easy well to do job right, right. it does if people knew how much like shit you'd be having me climb up on right like or climb down. Oh, I want a waterfall shoot. Oh, that's a four mile one way hike. Yes. You know what I mean? Like yes. son of a bitch. I'm a fat nigga. I'm like, fuck. In church yeah. shoes. In church shoes. <laughs> yeah, I had to do it. it. Yeah, shout out to y'all with that maternity shoot that made me hike four miles in church <laughs> shoes. Eight miles, really, because it was four miles one way. Shit. Yeah, I was in, in church I was, shoes with a no. camera. Yeah, I, I was <laughs> fucking livid. He taking pictures of how, how bad it is. <laughs> God, it's awful. Damn. Man. So, <laughs> but I don't, I don't think people like really know that type of shit. But I want to know though, when it comes to the flamethrower, have you had any accidents with that? Almost. That's what? why you always have to have a fire safety, like someone mm. with whatever like your fire safety is in order if your hair catches on fire if your clothes catch on fire right. i mean i would hope your hair wouldn't then that you would have like right. a hood or your hair would be back um but anything can happen um so as long as like someone's there you but i haven't that's why i was like close call because my hair almost did catch on fire whenever i was uh moving with my dragon staff what's a dragon staff uh um that's, is it like a stick, just a long stick to be on fire on? Yeah, and it has like three or four points at the end, and you can just light I've those on those. fire. Nice. Yeah. It like looks sort of like a triton type thing? Yes. Okay. Uh, it can look like that. I mean, there's regular staffs, which it just has like one point, and mm -hmm. it's just the end. Or like the dragon staff that has like multiple points around it, Yeah. and you can use that. Wow. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. Okay, all right. But you almost caught your hair. Is that why you had to cut the the no side? Oh, no. Like it was right here, but since the the there was no wind and the flames were going up, nothing happened. But I caught it. Oh, so I just caught it. It just because it tried to. Like, yeah, it was on my arm, shit. and it rolled away. Oh, wow. And you got tattoos. Like, that's that's one of my worst fears, because I got tattoos. And oh, that yeah, means we got to go the rest of our lives. I'm like, man, if the wrong thing falls off the stove and just gets yeah. me, I, you just got a melted, like, ink blot now. Yep. And I, that's what I'm worried about. That yeah. actually happened on one of my tattoos. Like, right here, I had, See? like, yeah. something burn my hand, and Boom. now it's just missing. Now yeah. you just have the... That's, that's life now. It's it's life. Life. It's, it's, no. So, how many tattoos do you have? Because there's like an abundance. You have a lot of dope um, ass tattoos. I don't know. I think it was like over like forty something. Yeah, there's a bunch here. She has a curse to kill the dog. What is that? What is that? Per? Yeah, my. <laughs> so, so all the nineties. Wait, ladies. wait, wait. We're gonna get to hold it up to there. There you go. <laughs> Meow per. To so oh, all yes. the '90s babies yeah. listening, she has a "Courage the Cowardly Dog" tattoo. Yeah, and oh, it wow. says the things I, that I do for love. And if you are a '90s kid, then you, as soon as I saw it, I was like, "Oh, like, you're yeah. cool." Yeah, there it 
ass. You're man. fucking cool. I'm an eighties man. I'm Ren and Stimpy. I don't know nothing about that shit, y'all. Man, man Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> We so, shouldn't have been allowed to watch Ren and Stimpy. That, never. That seemed a little iffy. Even when, as a kid, I was watching it like, this is different than right. Eddie, <laughs> the Eddie. other cartoon. This is not Ed, Ed, and oh, Eddie. Like right? Cow and Chicken. Yeah, that yeah. was. Cow and Chicken was definitely not yeah. supposed to be viewed like no. that was. No, that was weird. That's yeah. probably why it wasn't on long. Yeah. And it was only like 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah. They couldn't show you much of this shit. The devil got a fat ass and, and the mama and the, the mama and the daddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the devil did legs. have a fat ass. The devil got a fat ass. <laughs> yeah. And the mom and the daddy are only legs. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. And they only ate ass. That's, and they only ate ass. They did. They only ate ass. <laughs> no wonder it's a whole new phenomenon out here. We've been conditioned. Yeah. How, do you feel, how do you feel about ass eating? Ass eating? Yeah. I yeah. just had this argument. Yeah, go ahead. I don't. I don't even. <laughs> she froze. She's like, wait a minute. I didn't listen to the podcast before I came on. <laughs> Did you just ask me about ass eating? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Brandon, how you feel about ass eating? I do not eat ass, y'all. Me either, nasty. Yeah. Come on, man. I still got kids. I kiss with this mouth. Man, I'm not looking. I just had a full blown <laughs> back and forth at two o'clock in the morning. Like this, like. Yeah. Last night, but this morning, two o'clock in the morning, I'm on Facetime. My friend called me, and uh, and uh, her cousin was in the car, uh-huh. and they just driving around, whatever. So I'm sitting there, and I'm smoking and drinking a beer. I'm just chilling, right? And I don't know how we got on it, but I'm a freak. I'm sure I probably said something, but like we got on like eating ass. And I like nah, I don't do that shit. They're like, you don't eat. And like the cousin was like, you don't eat ass. Oh, they're so offended. Man. Oh, she was like, it's some prime she rib was you just turned back. off, you know? Like <laughs> nigga, she was. This is like preposterous. Uh-huh. I'm like, she's like, you, you don't, don't eat, eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> then she was, she was like, it's not even really eating ass. You just grazing go, it. Go around it. That's I'm what they always say. Hell. I have taken you talking to a motherfucker that has taken a shit. Okay, right. like what the fuck you, you talking can't about? Tell man? me nothing. Right, you need to graze around it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. Just graze. What the fuck? That dude <laughs> don't just graze around there that when shit, you shit. Nah. That shit explodes, man. Yeah. Fuck that shit. And that's what I told. I said, look, I don't eat chitlins, so I ain't eating no active ass. Right. Either, right? Wait, wait, M- muffin. How you feel about it? I don't know. I wouldn't do it. You don't eat ass. Don't eat ass. I'm not gonna do that. No. You got the gauges and, and a grill, though, man. These girls probably think you eat ass. Because no. yeah. <laughs> apparently, I have a I eat ass face. Because no. she was taken back. Well, well, she was taken back with me. Oh god. Kind of a whole argument. I don't know who made that cool Kevin Gates, but I don't know who made it like just totally acceptable. Like Kevin to Gates did. But I'm saying he he introduced it. But and then that one girl, are, the girl that uh, either eat my ass like groceries. Oh, <laughs> you Janae Aiko. Yes, yep, there you, you go. Right. That's what it was. It, that's it, what it all was. it took was a couple of lines and a couple of songs, and people were on. They're like, oh, and now that. I have to defend the right that I don't want to lick your ass <laughs> yes, at two o'clock in the morning. It's not right. It's not fucking right. <laughs> at yeah. two o'clock in the morning, I gotta make a stand. There's like, people the right fuck? now that have logged off of our live broadcast. We don't eat ass because we don't eat ass. Who that don't eat ass? <laughs> Who that? Who that? Podcast, Who that? Bro. Not that ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking with it, man. Scroll down. Let me Hold see. on. Wait, wait, wait. We How got... y'all feel about eating ass? Oh, goodness. Oh, nobody. Nobody said okay. nothing. All right, nobody cool. Because they don't eat ass either. Maybe it's not that important. I don't know. I hope it's not. I hope right. that's a phase. Nobody wants to admit it. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, nasty. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of people that are into like, water sports, too, that... You wouldn't even think. I don't. Yeah, I don't need all that. Yeah, that's... I don't need all that. The yeah. fuck? Why? Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't understand. It all. It's all derivative from squirting. It is. People got into squirting, and then they just can't stop. You know, themselves. if you squirting, you might as well just piss on me. That's no. What they felt. Oh, that's no. You no. don't think so? No, I don't think so. No, you squirt because I just made you do that from pleasure. You piss because your bladder's full. <laughs> <laughs> There's a time and a place for I both sure of those. <laughs> like, yeah. you, need right, to, right, right. you need to go somewhere. Oh. I don't understand how, like, in your mind, you you just pissed on me. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Like, no. <laughs> you know how long it'd take me to piss on somebody? I'd be standing there for, like, ten minutes. Like, yeah, it's about but to you, happen. That's right. You know what, <laughs> Muffin? It's going to happen. Muffin, here's the thing, though. <laughs> if you're pissing on somebody, you're not really the nasty fuck. If you're getting I mean, pissed on, you are the nasty still, fuck. Though. 
I don't know. I got a shy bladder, so it wouldn't happen with me. I wouldn't be able to do it either way. Yeah. I don't know. Oh man. I wouldn't want to clean up the mess afterwards. Oh yeah. That a lot of people what they do is they buy the clear shower curtain. Yeah, and they put it on their bed. Yeah, they the do. Tarp. I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, look, there's <laughs> another. There's this is another. my interest in face. I'm like, <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> <What the> fuck? <laughs> look, so there's two things they can do. They get they buy the uh, the shower curtain, okay, and they'll put it on their bed, and the, they'll do the water sport thing. Some people just do it on their bed. I don't know, but also they'll buy the shower curtain, and they'll lather it with baby oil and have sex in like a pool of baby oil. Wow. And do water sports? Expensive. No, no, no. That water sports not included. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, unless now, they but, want to. Right, right. At that point in time, it's just a fucking mess anyway. And you know? yeah. just FYI, word to the wise, I wouldn't use baby oil if that sounded like a good idea because that if it gets up in the wrong women, it can cause uh, little issues. But if you, you get you the organic... You can tell you've been on T-Talk. <laughs> <laughs> I learned this shit. Yeah, uh, shout out get, to T-Talk. If you get the organic coconut oil... It shines the same way. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just as slippery. And it's good for your body. So get the coconut oil. As doing burlesque, what do you do to prepare for that? Like, do you do, like, the baby oil rub down and get all whatever it is? You know what I'm saying? No. Uh, I just... I no glitter to, involved. No? I mean, I can put all the glitter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Glitter, is glitter. Yeah. <laughs> glitter is great. Glitter is absolutely great. wonderful to use in any kind of performance. Right. Like okay. it makes you shine. Right. Yeah. That's um, what I was wondering. I was like, you don't do nothing, really? Cutting no. yourself short. There you go. <laughs> I mean, I have to, you know, figure out what I'm going to be doing. Like if I'm going to cosplay or if well, I just you want to be a character. Too? Yeah. What? I'm trying to get into it. Because I, I've only been us. wanting to be like Catwoman, oh. cat because I love cats. So. Yeah, okay. All right. So uh, I yeah. could see a Catwoman. I could definitely see a Catwoman. And they've got yeah. so, Catwoman has gotten so much sexier over the years. Her outfit is so much better now oh, yeah. than what it used to be. It used to be some bullshit, but now that yeah. Catwoman, that Catwoman's always been fine to me. Yeah. The, with the stitched together leather, or you want to be Catwoman that actually is a burglar. You want to whatever. You want to put on some pajamas and with, a, with some furry ears. <laughs> yeah, I like that shit. You gotta have the goggles up here though. I yeah, couldn't give you yeah. the Catwoman without the goggles. I'd be like, mm -mm, he has a specific Catwoman, Catwoman yeah. in mind. Yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I do have a specific. Yes. <laughs> yes. Fuck the bullshit. <laughs> I have demands. That <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. So when do you you want to go to the the events with us when we go? Of course. How how quick can you put an outfit together? Pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, I mean, I already have like a Catwoman yes. costume in my uh, closet right oh, now. Oh boy, if so. you said in your truck, I was gonna send your ass out to do, go get it. <laughs> I want to see that Catwoman. Yeah, that, yeah. that Catwoman. <laughs> I think the only thing in my car I have is like my ten inch heels. Yeah. Yeah. The ones thing, that come up to your thigh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk in a minute when we switch gears over to him we're gonna send you out there i want to see him though they want to see him so. <laughs> so i speak for the people here so uh what is this no make sure no candles get knocked over with baby oil. oh i know yeah uh, once again, everybody. another thing. It's flammable. Flammable. <laughs> Be careful. Unless like you're that. fucking with Bambi. Yeah. 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 <laughs> she knows all about the fire. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know. What are, what are you holding there? Is that a big titty Indian? Native American. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad, y'all. So. But this is a big titty uh, Native American. I hold it up for the camera. I don't know if we can get doxxed for that or not. Make it quick, though. Be like, oh, there's some big titties. Bye. Big titties with them titties. No, no, no. You want to go up? Titties. There you go. Oh, them titties. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. She got lips like Topanga from right, Boy Meets World. Right. Oh, Ooh, yeah. don't talk about Topanga. From Boy Meets World? Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Topanga, you know, as a kid, you see that first chick that you're just like, mm, I, I'll mm. do things to her that I'm not, I'll get in trouble for. Yeah, well, I didn't talk like that as a kid, but, mm, what's the one I get? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do and am I, I'm going to take this thing from you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me no gun. <laughs> yeah. We need the soundboard. Yes, we do. We do. <laughs> Don't give me no gun. Here, hold on. 
Yeah. Take this, please. <laughs> I'm just caressing old Tanya. I know, right? right? What's her name? Did T- you give her a name? Uh, uh, Topanga from no. the Cherokee. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh Topanga. <laughs> Lord Topanga. Who was your, who was your, uh, your first, like, celebrity crush? Oh, Kiki Palmer. Yeah? Oh, Akila and the B. Yeah? Man, I don't know what it was, but the way that bitch had them glasses on and was just spelling shit with the <laughs> <laughs> she had them braids. Oh my in her god! Hair. Godly, I like she's smart. She got braids. She dark skin. Oh, yeah, there shit. it is. I was, it is. I was, I was all for it. Matter of fact, I'm still for Kiki Palmer. <laughs> yeah, y'all what? gonna know if she if she contact me because you ain't never gonna hear from my ass again. I know, right? <laughs> mm, Kiki must have called. <laughs> he must have got the call. Yeah. What Kiki about you? Palmer. I can't even remember my. You don't have a childhood crush? I can't even remember if I did or not. What shows did you watch as a kid? Oh, God. It was mainly just cartoons. Yeah? Like, yeah, yeah. I can't remember, like, any... Hopefully you wasn't lusting over no cartoon. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. cow and chicken. I was. Oh, God, no. No, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> I had a cartoon crush. But it was based on a real person. So I, I think that's okay. Are you talking about Stripperella again? Yes, I am. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that chick from Roger Rabbit was pretty hot. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that, Rabbit. yeah. She, she was great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a cartoon character yeah, who didn't get somebody it. Somebody draw me some dick so I can give her the, <laughs> <laughs> give her the business. Like, yeah. So what about you, Muffin? You had, you have a childhood? I don't know. I had a lot. I, had a, I mean, <laughs> I can't remember the first. I, liked, I mean, I like that weird chick from Ca- the Casper movie. And oh, shout out. Out. Weird <laughs> chick, wasn't it? Was that Christina Ricci? No, who was that? Yeah. I, I can't even remember. Yeah, that movie. Was Batman that Christina movie. Ricci? Uh, I think so. Before yeah. she was what she is now? Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, Black Snake Moan. <laughs> hey, David Banner was ripping the back out of that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so. You said from Batman? Which Batman? Yeah, I don't know. I can't even remember. I think it was with the, the yeah, Poison Ivy. Oh, yeah. that's a long, oh, been a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. George Clooney joint. Yeah, yeah. 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 Poison I, uh, uh Charlie, uh, what is the, what's the name? Thurman. Yeah, uh, Charlie. Kill Bill. Yeah, Charlie's. Yeah. Charlize. No, that's bad. Uma Thurman. Uma, Uma, thank you. Thank Uma. you. You like thank Uma Thurman? You. And that in the uh wasn't she the, the poison, poison ivy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that green bodysuit she had on with <laughs> yeah. the gloves. You yeah. should see Abby Costello's uh poison ivy, like it's beautiful. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Like she it's one of her great like performances. It's like uh, one of her top ones. Oh wow. Yeah, it it's beautiful. Well, I'm gonna add you on Facebook. Will you like share it or send it to me? Because yeah. You exposed can... me to a whole new world here. Are you dead? I'm dead. <laughs> oh damn. Say that. Mm. So anyway, yeah. um, we gotta find. I gotta find somebody that that uh, can get us like booked a booth for these uh, for the cosplay because he he's got one helmet almost done. We've Ooh. got two more to do. If you have a booth, I can bring my lollipop and I can sit as a cat woman. Oh shit! Yeah, I love my lollipop. It's... What? Is, wait, wait. What is your lollipop? I'm thinking just lollipop. What is your lollipop? No, it's um. One of it's oh, my portable pole brilliant. that I have, uh-huh. and I has like a lira on top of the pole. Oh, okay. So I can like perform on pole and on lira. Oh, so nice. that's why it's called lollipop because it literally looks like a lollipop. Okay. Oh, and you'll come and you'll be able to do that while mm-hmm. we do the. Why? Yeah. Why aren't you doing this now? Like, what? Do, what? Do... <laughs> Is there a, a, a height limit on the for the lollipop? Like for selling? Um, it has to be. I think it sits at like eight and a half, like nine, like foot yeah okay. feet. i was trying to remember exactly um but as long as like i have over nine feet i sh- I, I can go anywhere right, right and then of course i can go anywhere with um you know my rig too is now let me ask you the the first thing you were talking about is it really heavy i had a friend that had one that was like 200 pound base yeah it's it's 200 it i forgot the exact of how much it weighs i think uh-huh. it's around like three Hundred pounds, yeah. Because all together, ah. each bag is extremely heavy. Right. Okay. <laughs> it is very hard to carry. Right. Are you okay? Yeah, I broke skin. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, I'm cool. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> to the listeners, that part's gonna be r- fucked up in your ears. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, you have to come with the lollipop and be Catwoman next to the. Oh my. Yeah. Goodness. We yes. can maybe charge. To like get pictures with her, maybe yeah, for the yeah. backdrop. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, 
There you go. You down yeah. for that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. So, all right. Um, anything you want to tell us before we switch gears over to Muffin? Um, just book parties with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how, with the mermaid school that? or just do classes with us it's, are you, it's have you guys be... considered doing like a special one for just kids oh yeah no that's what like the birthday parties right like, they can be from kids to adults uh you know bachelorette obviously is usually adults right of course of <laughs> um, course but you know we'll just like learn how to swim like with parties like okay. how to synchronize like maybe a little routine or something or right. how much are the kids for the kid um mm-hmm. for like i think it's every five people it's like three hundred dollars but we're just trying to get all like the prices and stuff together right I think that's like a base price right now okay all right cool i surely uh, and appreciate they you just through up. instagram and facebook yeah do you like there's not a website for the mermaid classes or anything uh there is uh but it's on my facebook and on my instagram like there's a link that will go straight to like booking a class to a party okay, cool. or you can contact me and like book different kind of parties because we can go to you you can come to us it's mobile yeah completely Bad. mobile like you can even book us for like aerialist stuff or with like mermaid tales i mean it's yeah whatever that person wants we can give them that entertainment who does your That's photography that. for you um it's various people like uh you need a permanent i yeah, I think I'm going to get uh, Ryan Hiller. Uh, no need. Huh? No need. Shout out to Ryan. <laughs> oh, man. He is a really good photographer. And uh, also, like, Clint Searcy. I don't he, know. I've never heard of Searcy. Yeah. They're I've heard really of, good. No. They are, like, one of the best photographers the, I've seen and that have, you know, photographed me. I'm coming to take pictures at one of these He's a things. photographer. I'm a photographer. Oh. Yeah, so that's we're coming to take some pictures. Cause Look, yeah. <laughs> I've got to document this shit. Look, this sounds I crazy. have been trying to find somebody for weeks now. I've got that red booth over there. I need somebody in some a, a strong black outfit. Either, like, I mean black the color, not like hip hop out. But, like, I'm, I need a strong shoot in that booth. I want to pull everything out from it. And do it at night, but yeah. You, do you have a black outfit? Uh, yeah, the cat. Not woman, like on yeah. you. Cat woman no, no, yeah, yeah. Like cat pretty much outfit. all my routines, oh, all oh, my yeah. performances, yeah. I have black. I, black. All right. I love. Well, I'm gonna talk, and we're gonna get a shoot done over there. Sweet. So, let me know. Okay. So, but um, yeah, I think we're gonna switch gears here. So I really appreciate you coming on. You're gonna go look for those shoes. Yes. yes. Go bring the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to switch over to uh, my guy, Muffin Man. Did you have something you wanted to add? Before we uh, jump uh, and switch gears all the way, let's um, do a, a quick shameless plug for the tattoo competition. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have a tattoo competition November 9th. And um, if you like to perform, we talk business. But it is a competition for all the local shops here, and they'll be competing competing for the best piece for that day. Everyone wants to say it's the best tattoo artist, it's the best piece for that day. You know, whoever presents us with the best piece is gonna win. You know, yeah. best tattoo artist that that takes a whole another scale of you know what yeah, I mean yeah. of rating. But um, like I said, it's November the ninth. It's from like eleven a.m. to ten p.m. We we'll have food trucks and stuff out there. Let me know if you want to perform. I'll of put course. you on the slate. Because I, if you want me to perform fire, air, whatever yeah. you need. It'll be outdoor. I, okay, then I can do whatever you want with that. Okay, cool. All right. So pretty much anything at this yeah. point. Because I was yeah. like, I have 20 foot to work with. I yes. also have everything portable. So Yeah, I'll set the stage for you and I'll let you have it. So That sounds dope as shit. Yeah. It's called yeah. sh- what, Shut Up in Ink? Shut Up in Ink. Yes. It is a... Um, it's pretty exciting. We got a big buzz going with it right now. Yeah, so. I, I saw that. It's actually going everywhere on like Facebook. Yeah. at least from what I'm seeing. Right. A lot of people, my friends, have been saying that. Uh, shout out to the Who That supporters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who we that? wouldn't be nothing without you. Ah, ah, hold on. Let me go wide. Let here. me go wide here. Who out here? Get Shoot. it. Yeah. Shout out to the Who That supporters. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So we uh, just floating around on this spaceship doing dope shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, go get the shoes. Yep. And, uh, Muffin. What's up, man? Not much. You've been over here quiet a little bit waiting. I appreciate it. 
Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. As always. So, my man here, hold up the helmet for him. Let him see it. Okay, here we go. He's, he's getting us ready. So, that'll be kind of the design. We, we got that design from, like, a Fallout, Fallout 4. So, and what he does is he 3D prints. Now, let me put this, because uh, I don't think our area like really knows the capabilities he can do anybody that needs miniatures done for any sort of anything he can do that anything for a project oh, yeah. he can do that mm -hmm. anything that for he sure. can cast that you might need for your cosplay stuff we have some cosplayers on here or even rap artists if you need something different specialized he can do that he can do all this shit okay yeah, i can print on t-shirts and canvases and all all kinds of stuff yeah 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 he can get it I all did a couple of 3d paintings like printed a 3d picture on it and then painted over top of it and stuff all right so they're yeah. pretty cool yeah and uh uh able to what, what were you saying um what, what's it called the wax thing you're able to oh do? yeah yeah the i can resin with the yeah with the wax okay. resin it's like a photopolymer but it has wax in it and i can use that to print out models of uh ju for jewelry for jewelers or whatever i usually uh -huh. ship them out but i print them out and then they can cast them and then melt the wax out and then pour gold in you know whatever okay. the process you know i don't i don't do that side of it but and the man next to him can be the one that that does, does that, that side of it you know? <laughs> so so it's actually yeah, like for real anything, anything. Right. i mean it, absolutely anything can be printed out that's dope oh. how big can it go I mean, you can make if you make a your own custom printer. I mean, which is which is on the same scale as the other printers. I mean, you just have to make the frame bigger. You can use the same. Uh, I mean, basically, you could use the same motors, but you might have to ramp them up. You know, after a little bit, make them a little bit bigger. But I mean, as long as they're like a, a 17 or 23 stepper motor, you know, then mm. it could be is however big the frame you make is it all you can go in the computer and just type in well it's going to be five feet but the general side is a 220 millimeters by 220 millimeters by 220 or, right. or 250 tall something like that okay. and some go up to 500 some are 300 so, so what's this this thanos is this like a good representation of like a, a yeah that size? that's about the uh probably about a little over halfway tall okay so about, a little over halfway yeah yeah, Damn. and you know the stuff can be printed in pieces, and he yeah, puts right, them exactly. together and then pieced together. Exactly. Yeah, like so. the summit was for sure. How 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 heavy does that feel? No, this is this is light. This is okay, cool. good. Yeah, and good the man. inside of that isn't solid either. You can make it. You can choose to be. You know, however strong you want it to be, you can choose it to be twenty five percent or a hundred percent or whatever, depending on what you're using it for. But All that right. way, you can save material. Bet. All right. So. And that, and depending on how many like overhangs there are and stuff like that, there's a lot of factors. Do you know stuff like that at at the cons and stuff? That shit sells for big bucks. Oh yeah, but there is a lot of like licensing problems there too. Oh, yeah. you know? So mm -hmm. if I was to actually like sit down and make my own model of it, I could probably sell it. Or if I bought the file from somebody, then I might be able to buy the license with it to sell however many I want. So it's a big like, iffy situation. Yeah, of course. But, right. but, but essentially you can sell anything. I mean, yeah. we need to design us uh, some who that stuff. I, I already yeah. thought of some shit. Yeah. But the thing is a matter of designing it, man. I've never used a software. It, is, it isn't CAD based, is it? Yeah, some oh, it most is? of it is. Yeah, I use the ZBrush and a mesh mixer uh -huh. and stuff like that. So okay, huh? Yeah. But a lot of those are expensive. I know AutoCAD is like three grand a year to use. It's like a subscription now. Oh you no! Pay like three hundred something bucks a month or something. Then ZBrush was like eight hundred dollars mm. uh, for that. So I mean, it gets expensive. Right. I wonder so, how long it takes for them to design some of this stuff. Like, oh, I mean. Uh, I mean, it takes sometimes it takes weeks, sometimes months to do one mo to make one model, depending on how much detail you want to get into it. You right. Know? So Damn. we need to come up with just one thing. Then. Yeah, I've never got into like I, the I, animated I side of it, but I'm really like looking into that also. Right. I'd like to get into that a lot because, uh, but I've never gotten to like you know anything like that. Yeah, right. But that'd be very cool. Yeah. yeah. We need to do the disintegrator. Yeah, no, no, we're gonna do the Nerf guns for that. No, I'm saying that's <laughs> to sell this merch. Oh, I don't know, huh? Maybe the, the who that disintegrated. Yeah, they they don't know about that yet. Though. Nah, that has a, that part of the storyline hadn't come through yet. Edit that out. Edit yeah, <laughs> he said it. We're on live. It's like, <laughs> yeah, there. The disintegrated is there. So, yeah. yeah. 
So um, coming, coming soon. Right, right. Yeah. So um I mean, how's business going with this stuff, man? It's um it was kinda slow at first, but I mean I just started like a little under six months ago and I just bought the one my first printer. I didn't know anything about it. it. Took me two days to put the first one together. It was only a hundred and sixty dollar, like the cheapest one I could get. Right. And uh I got it together. It took me three months to learn how to get that thing running smoothly and you know, I could not right. be jamming and stuff and right. then and I finally got it. Now it's I've had it running for about three months straight now. Like as soon as it stops, I'll pull the print off it and start it right back up. Nice. And just let it run. It's been a workhorse. And I mean, I've printed out multiple upgrades for it, mm-hmm. which I found a lot on free. There's a website called Thingiverse.com, and uh, you can download like any kind of model you want on there. Right. I mean, so I mean, it's kind of like the site I sent you. The yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. So I yeah. found them some designs. And there is some paid sites you can get this stuff on, but you know, you I'd, I'd look for it for free first. Oh yeah, of know? course, <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. I think business is, is as soon as people grasp the things you can do, like. We're in an area where it's it, we're out in the country a little bit. We're down in the south. Right. It's a little bit slower. But once people are like, "Oh man, he can he can make me custom coasters for my company, oh, and yeah. we can market with this," or you know, "Oh, he can make you know anything, anything. Yeah. He can make yeah. custom bracelets, you know, that just slide on." You know, people people haven't really grasped the concept, yeah, but you're gonna have to. Yeah, they're printing uh, like Adidas and Under Armour have 3D printed shoes out that are coming out. Oh, and they already wow. are out, and uh, yeah, those look pretty it's, cool. It's, it's, it's yeah. the future. They, yeah, yeah, it is. It's pretty the cool. Well, future. They have a car. Right. It takes them. They, what's that 3D printed car? It took them like what two days to print it all out. I don't know. I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's yeah, a 3D printed car that, that they had, and they're like, it was fully put together, everything by machines, 3D printed, and that's. I mean, think about that. You could customize yeah. your car all the way. You'd be like, oh, hey, yeah. I need you to print this shit. Exactly. Oh, I, I found like the door handles for my car online, and everything. You know, that would save me thirty dollars right there. If I broke my door handle, I could just print another one out, whatever color I want. Yeah, that's you know? hard. Yeah, wow. that's the truth. So <laughs> that's dope as yeah. fuck. So <laughs> it's it's so much in the future that that can be done that people are not grasping with this. Mm-hmm. Do not actually. sleep on this 3D printing, y'all. It's so much that can be done. So I'm so much. Shit right now. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, and it's actually pretty cheap. Like I don't charge as much as uh, like I've this little guy right here. I loaded him into a program to see how much somebody charged me, and they wanted twenty seven dollars for that. I just couldn't. That cost me thirty cents to make. Out of wow. material, you wow. know, I, was, I couldn't just couldn't charge somebody twenty seven dollars. I was like five dollars, you know. Yeah. But I just wanted to see what the going rate was, and it amazed me, you know, right. how how expensive it was. So, I mean, I usually charge the sixty dollars for a, a jewelry, like a wax jewelry print, though, because right. those are pretty difficult, yeah. and that printer cost me a lot of money. Right. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's a different process than this, the, yeah. than all this stuff. But. Right, right. You see the Superman. Yeah, he's. I got. I didn't bring the stand with him, but that one turned out pretty good. Yeah, hold it up for the camera. Let them see the Superman. That is pretty cool. <laughs> it's fire. It is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. I got. It's got all the detail. Yeah. yeah. Just the detail, man. Buzz is crazy. See so, y'all. Uh, look at there. All your geek necessities. <laughs> all. Uh, you should. I think you should hit like some nostalgia type stuff. Yeah. Some very. I mean, I have, my room is covered in stuff now. I have so much stuff. I like, bet you do. I just every time somebody orders something, I just send them like two extra things just to get rid of. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. They're like, "You're so nice," and I'm like, "Well, I, yeah, I guess." I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just don't want to throw it away. So, do they <laughs> have any machine that you can pair with that that will paint? Like you needed to. Well, I mean, you could. I mean, I could put a pen or or whatever in the in my machine. I could print something out to hold it and then draw the picture, or whatever. They I could attach a Dremel to it and like cut something out like CNC wise. Oh, nice. They have laser attachments and all that stuff, so you could laser cut anything out and do engravings and whatever you want to do. Oh, that's dope. And they have machines that have like magnetic like tips that you can clip on and off, but they're like three grand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. So, okay, shit. So, I mean, what's what's the future? What you doing there? Um, well, right now, I mean, I even have a guy in, as a techno artist in Ireland right now. Nice. His name is uh, it's like Ph though, but Fuckbox. 
with oh yeah. fuck and, uh, box he, uh, he just hit me up to make him like a logo so i he just wanted a standard logo but i talked to him and they let me do like leds and stuff like that so i'm i'm about three quarters of the way done doing the design on it so that was pretty fun That's to hard. do that for him yeah. Yeah. he'll be able to it's like a little remote with the change color change led strip and everything right so yeah oh, that's i was cool. like i don't know how he hit me up but i was like where you live in ireland or something like, that's crazy. <laughs> now make sure okay when you do that you know that their power plugs are different right okay yeah well, this is a usb oh it's a usb, USB? Plug, okay yeah. gotcha gotcha yeah. technology right. comes through again right yeah i've got a couple universal like where to go from american Okay, electric yeah. attachment you pull it out and it's like two little pegs i don't know i don't know right, shit about right. that i don't i don't like to lead a country you know, i <laughs> right. feel like i feel like not now black people are hated global so i don't want to <laughs> go over there where i don't know right. shit you know <laughs> they are i don't know why why are we the enemy brandon you don't want me to answer that bro. oh that's a whole nother hour <laughs> worth of talking um, are you gonna put those on? Because I have you an know, answer. I, for I do want you to put. You those don't want on. an answer. I want to see that. <laughs> this shit. Yeah, that was, right, that's so actually I, carbon fiber. It is. Yeah, it's like there's little pieces of uh, carbon fiber that they put into the. There's there's like wood wood Good filament piece, and all kinds of different like there's steel embedded. It's over there. But so all right, something that's carbon fiber. Like I was looking at the different materials and shit, right? I was looking at the different materials. So something like this, that this size, but it's a different material than, say, this Thanos. Is yeah. This, is, is it a different type of makeup? Well, they're both a P, it's a PLA plastic. Oh, it, okay, okay. It, but uh, but this one just has carbon fiber like embedded, like little chunks mm. embedded in it. With I guess they ground it into like a powder or something. But it does make it quite a bit stronger. Yeah. You know, not not a whole bunch. But so it, is that PLA plastic too to help? Yeah, this is also. Okay. And they so do make a stronger. Pla they make a couple different kinds of plastic you can use. That's what's up. All mm. right, but that that answers my question right there. Yeah. There's a couple of yeah. flexible ones as well. But it's it's kind of hard to work with because it's like pushing a wet noodle through a tube. <laughs> a <laughs> wet noodle. Yeah, yeah. so too. it's kind of it's What you doing with that wet but, noodle? <laughs> <laughs> but once you get it all lined up right, it's pretty good. So could you like take like a Deadpool like bust of the head like this size and put mm -hmm. it on a ring? Oh yeah, oh, yeah definitely. <laughs> I'm about to act up. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Hey, we right. can have who that ring That's with yeah. the owl head. That. Yes. Oh, you could have big brass. Yeah. You could have big here, brass knuckles. Bro. Yeah, yeah. That's can you do Lexan? Talking about. Uh, what? Lexan? Isn't that a material? Lexan? I don't know. Oh, uh, they do brass knuckles out of like it's Lexan brass okay. knuckles. I made oh, some out of I made oh, some wow. out of this PLA and they I were pretty you. hard. Yeah. Man, yeah. No. Oh wow. I mean, it it hurt. It wouldn't it wouldn't like kill anybody or anything like, but it hurt. Oh, it you would know, definitely hurt. hurt. He's trying to get something. Come on, you got a ring. I can cast it for him. Yeah. See, that's when I'm. We already. I'm yeah, glad yeah. we all on the same page, man. A who that ring with the owl head. And maybe like a W on this side, an H on that side, and it, but it stands oh, up on your ass. You know yep. what I'm saying? It look dope as shit. Oh, and yeah. And then get it casted. Oh, man. Kiss the rain, bitch. <laughs> you know, hey, kiss that out. You know you want to. You know you want to. Uh, let's see where Don't it miss is. that blessing. You better kiss that ring. Well, there you are. <laughs> All right. Let me turn that thing. All right. We, we have a little technical oh, difficulty yeah. over, to the, we'll over to the side. No, I'm just Jesus Christ! Look at those heels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're uh, they're pretty big. That's a deadly weapon. That is. They're very heavy. <laughs> they That's have to be. Shit. Yo, all of our male viewers <laughs> yeah. are about to be so excited. Look at this over here. <laughs> those things. Leather straps and ten-inch heels. What does that even remind you of? Like, is that like a? I don't know. Like a I, fetish thing? Well, I don't, I don't want to think of it as just bondage, but yeah, yeah I mean, it could go there. Yeah, yeah, scissor hands. I was like, this could completely go there to bondage. 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 A female. How do you feel about hands. bondage, Randa? Um, uh, black people and whips don't have a good history. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> or or wow. rope. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, what would be the best That's ridiculous. camera to... To show this, and to the yeah, listeners, hold, hold if you're just listening the to the podcast in your cubicle at work, you gotta get get on Facebook and and check this out. Yeah, check it out. Um, I guess I need to move here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Here we can see. Look at these big ass heels. Oh, excuse me. 
What the bro? Look how he is clearing me right now. Adjust that camera. Become a cameraman for a second. Look how much taller she is than me. No, I think they can see it. I think that is. Look. Now I gotta adjust the back out. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Just grab it. We'll put it back. Just grab that thing. Aim, aim up. It's too much taller. Jesus. Look at that. <laughs> God, I love these things. So, how heavy? Um, it, Jesus. I mean, they have some weight, you know, to the boot, but I think maybe they weigh about like three, four pounds. That's so dope. You look dope as hell with the with the purple the dress. The purple right? dress. <laughs> like, just so how well can you really walk? Like. Normal. She performs yeah. in them things. Yeah. She's gotta be able she to well, there's a trick. Yeah, it was like there's a trick to walking in heels. It's like you I have mean, to like put knees bending. What about that part? Just to... I can. No, I can have them straight. I just always have one knee knee bent. But uh, yeah, you have to just keep your toes like more weight to your toes, and you can stand in anything. Yeah, that looks that like I feel like if I was gonna fall in them, I'd die. Like <laughs> death is imminent if you fail. That's what a lot of people say. Yeah, is that they're gonna uh, die if they. Uh, so how much practice did you need to have before you felt confident enough to do a whole performance with those on? Um, well, there's there, there's no amount of confidence that that's gonna get you there. Bump that up just a little bit. Um, I had to get comfortable with dancing in like six inch heels first, and then it went into. Dancing in uh, eight inch, then That's nine good. inch, and then I decided from nine inch, I was like, there, "What's one inch gonna do?" <laughs> yeah, it was and it did make a huge difference. Was going from nine to ten inches. It was a huge, yes. like. We're talking about heels for those who just turned in. <laughs> those just turned in. <laughs> can you can you three D print some heels that she could put some fish in the bottom? Oh uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. I love some fish in my heels. Yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> Oh, he can do some some cool. How, how would aquatic. you even feed them poor fish? Are they just in there for death? Die. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. death. Yeah. <laughs> death fish. They're gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Peter's gonna contact us. Oh yeah. This? Yeah. <laughs> they would definitely call it yeah. animal abuse. <laughs> we got good fake fish, fish together, like man. the little like just yeah. the mechanical ones that just swim around. Right, right, uh, right. You can do uh, that. Yeah, I think we got right. goldfish to spare. Yeah. <laughs> goldfish. Well, did you they know, do like, that at the circus and stuff, though? When you throw balls at them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. carnivals. Yeah, and then mm. you get a fish in a bag. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You get to shake up all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a fish. I got a fish. Yep. <laughs> but, so, I'm sorry. What we gonna do the rings? Is that what we decided? Yeah, man. Who that ring rings. with the with the owl? Do a W on one side with the with the uh, D on the other. Side. Right. The, okay. Yeah. We got to do like two or three different sizes. Though. All right. I'm cool. I'm trying to be out here like motherfucking <laughs> Flipper uh, the Liberace. Yeah. Shout out to Lil Flip. He changed. I mean, but mind. look, we'll do plastic ones just for because we got a Patreon site coming, y'all. And it's already up, but I haven't blasted it yet. But we need to do we, rings. Y'all are witnessing a live brainstorm session. Right. What's up? But we need to do, like, just the plastic ones for the fans. Okay. And they sign up for Patreon. We send them the Who That Rings. Okay. Yeah, we can do, like, one in black. Get you a special Who That Ring and become part of the, the Super the mothership. Fan Club. <laughs> yeah, become part of the Mothership. The you Mothership know? Fan Club. Right. Hey, that's what's up. <laughs> What? <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah. All right. So, Patreon mm -hmm. is coming soon, guys. We're gonna have the rings to present to you in these uh, weeks coming up. Yeah. Um, and we'll we'll sit down with my man over here and come up with some pricing yeah, and yeah. stuff. You know? I'm getting mine dipped. Dipped. <laughs> I'm getting mine dipped. Oh, shit. <laughs> Kiss the rings, bitch. Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 jewelry lover, I see, right? You got you got jewelry. Yeah, just not typical. Jewelry. Yeah, I, don't right, nice. I was like, I don't like necklaces do no? unless they're like mm -hmm. a choker. choker? Yeah. yeah, I'm down. Chokers. This what I because I have like I a few chokers time, that so. are just <laughs> like kitty cats. <laughs> right. Yeah, that'd Somewhere. be a big one. Yeah. Of course, yeah. 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 wear this. Make them right. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Make them respect them when they see you. Oh, oh my big. god. <laughs> they would be huge. Yeah. <laughs> What's uh, that? This that SS shit. Yeah. Right. This is imperial shit here. 
That's what I would it's do. It's like you won the Super Bowl. Right. Hey, those rings are... Have yeah, you ever they, seen the Super Bowl yeah, ring? Yeah, they're, they're, they're huge. huge. Yes. Super Seems huge. Seems like that's what he needs. That's yeah. what I need. Exactly. Yeah. I need a Super Bowl <laughs> ring. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Matter of fact, we should we should base it off the Super Bowl ring like that size. Yeah. Just look like just fucking... Ooh, make it LED, too. Oh, yeah. Like flashy. Yeah. You can, Is that yeah. possible? Throw yeah. it in the ring? Man, yeah. Look, hey, the, who that supporters? We really got some good shit coming for y'all, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, you might not get the first, the first ones. Yeah. You're gonna get those, right? But the plastic ones, yes, the plastic. We got y'all, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> got y'all. Um, where can people find your work? How can they contact you? Uh, usually, just like Facebook or Instagram. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, Muffin Man One Zero Nine Zero Three D. Okay, guys, I'm sure you can figure that out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and um. I mean, what kind of details do they need to contact you? Uh, just, I mean, just any kind of details is most the most details possible. Right. Pretty much. I mean, then I just I usually price everything per model and size, and then how much like actual editing I'm gonna have to do to it or customizing stuff or whatever. Right. But if, it, if they have something they just got ready to go, I usually don't charge that much because it's not a lot of work for me so right right yeah that i think that's how it was i mean that was probably more work because you had to oh, put yeah, it all together i actually had to have his hand and help me glue it all together right right figure it all out yeah coming through. <laughs> he did i think he came through with the yeah. plastic welder on that one yeah, which was sure. a genius idea by yeah, the way yeah. i was it like oh really that's a way to think yeah yeah and then i used uh, like loctite epoxy on the outside yeah this is perfect. yeah Hold on. Let me do it one time for you. Oh, do it. Camera. Get it. I know you want to put it on. I do. <laughs> Cosplay ladies, get used to this side. <laughs> now, it's, it isn't painted yet. This is just yeah. what it looks like before paint and everything. But yeah. we've got that. And we've got jumpsuits coming. I need to find me somebody who can do a uh, the patches for, you know, for your uh, for the jumpsuits. I could print it on the jumpsuit. Could you? Yep. I, 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 oh, uh, I okay. Well, all right, then. Fuck it. Yep. We, we got, got it. it. He can do anything. He can yeah, yeah. do anything. Hey, you need anything while we're here? <laughs> I don't she think so, glass. unless he wants to make me some of. new boots. Uh, <laughs> I was, he could he could make yeah. you the cap, you like like a Ooh. silver cap, just to put on. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's actually a good idea because yeah. I need that. Yeah. You keep them, you know, keep them from taking damage. Yeah. You know? They do take yeah. a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've worked with a lot of dancers, and I'd be like, get you some new shoes for the shoot. And they'd be like, why? And I'm like, because your shoes have gone through hell. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. They like to bump them no, on the happens. stage and stuff, too. It happens all the time. Yeah. Or like, if you're doing I've any floor them. work, you and have the, to either uh, be Panther aware mask. of that, oh, hey, you're wearing yeah. shoes that can tear up yeah. really yeah. easy. Yeah. Right. Or and just do or do Ooh. different moves. Right, right. You could paint it black and gold. I'm gonna get a Batman and a Black Panther mask. Black Panther. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be having erotic cosplay. Bro, at your you house. thought the same thing I was. Thinking. I know. I, like, I know gonna, you. I know I like you. They're gonna get burnt out right. on this. Why do you always have to grab a different mask every yeah. time? <laughs> I want you to be Black Panther. Why you gotta be Batman? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's get a female perspective on this. How would you feel if your man came out and or wait, man, woman? Uh, both ways. Okay. I'm in right. a relationship with my boyfriend. Three D printed Batman mask. Now. Okay. So your boyfriend, <laughs> your boyfriend comes busting out of the closet with a Black Panther mask on, ready and rearing to go. How do you wait, feel wait, about wait, you that? Set it up. Panther stuff. Oh my God! You got to set it up. Set it up. I'm gonna hide behind you. Okay. And he just and he got he got your music that you perform in playing. He just. <laughs> 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 I don't know about all that. You know, you know, you know, you know. Well, it's so only because it. I, I just don't like costumes when doing stuff like that. Yeah. It's just I'm not my cup of tea. Okay. Huh? All right. Well. So, I mean, if it happened, maybe I would be different about it, but right, right now, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> you get away with it without asking? Well, you wait till you're doing it in doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, bitch. Turn around. I'm do it anyway. What kind of forever, bitch? What kind of forever? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. You turn wow. around. You just. Kind of felt. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm already doing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost done. <laughs> so, 
Wow, wow. <laughs> so you said um, you gave your Instagram information. They know where to find you. Um, is there any projects that you're dying to do? Well, like uh, I've been wanting, after printing that helmet out, because I'd never done one before. Now, <laughs> you're ready. You want to yeah, take it to the next yeah, level. Now I'm really want, raring to go for that. Even though they're a lot of work, I really want that Iron Man helmet. Yeah, what? Hold on. What did you want? <laughs> yeah. Like I yeah. said, I was wearing the, that, that, that helmet on the way here, and I think it scared people driving around with it. Yeah, they go, like, what the yeah. fuck is that? Definitely <laughs> looks weird. <laughs> I want to get I want to get some rings, mate. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, sure. I'm gonna get. You want to see my yeah. purge mask? Yeah. I do see your purge. All right. Look, you just keep this going. I'm gonna go I get got, the purge I mask. I got quite man. a few of those as well. You already got some purge mask? Yeah, not printed out, but I have the the model. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm about to say you're ready for something. <laughs> I got, I got <laughs> four. I think four of them. Damn. <laughs> I want to give me a purse. And they mask. have like a back piece that's uh goes around the back. It's like the front, and then you have like those stretchy straps that ah, like weave in and out shit. of the like. It's like a hockey kind of mask. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. But the uh, would you perform yeah. in a mask? Yeah. Yeah, I, we got. I already get... did the other day. I did a, one of my burlesque acts. I had like a a creepy like red mask. <laughs> For real? Yeah, yeah, that almost looked like yep, a screen that's mask, one of, yeah. but oh, it was like, yeah. just more like a smile. Yeah. It was red. Yep. Ah. But uh. It was. Damn. Was it nice? Yeah, it was. It was great. Cool. Everyone loved it. See, Did they get recorded? Yeah, I have it recorded. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I I'd have it. to see these. Like, I have just not sound. posted that one yet, but <laughs> I have like the whipped cream one that's posted. Yeah. we're gonna share that on the Who That page. <laughs> Let me tell you, when I saw the whipped cream one, because it was just a little bit, it that's wasn't a whole crazy. thing. Yeah, I like that. I was yeah. like, I haven't posted the whole thing yet. Yeah, get like a little clip. Actually, I got. I think I have that that actual one. Oh. Yeah, that's that's my. That's awesome. Yeah, it's dusty. It needs to be wiped off. But I don't think girls will let you fuck them in this. this. And I, um, <laughs> I mean, it depends on the girl. Nah, all right. And it's hard to do it from the back. Of this, you know. <laughs> it depends on. Oh the yeah, you're knocking somebody off. This is definitely purge material. Oh, yes. That shit. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, you done. What you mean? You gonna say hi to everyone, Ashley? No. Well, I mean, you're live on camera right now. Hi, little girl. Hi. Look, there they go running. Oh, don't show me. <laughs> this is, yeah. This is intense right here. Yeah, you like that? Hell yeah. Yeah. Like, I can't wait. That, that <laughs> with a shotgun would be amazing. Yeah? Hell yeah. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Ooh, I got to pull these glasses off. Thank you. You, you know the shotgun I got. Yeah, I know. That's what I was picturing. What was that yeah. one? The Benelli I had? What was that? The Benelli. Yeah, the Benelli assault off Benelli I had. That thing was awesome. No, I've got a... Uh, yeah. What is that thing called? Really, I need to just probably just go get it. But it was the I'm Benelli really 2000. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The camo one. I've the got the one black. with the Raptor grip. Um, oh, what is it the, the shotgun from Terminator 2. Right. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. The one that Schwarzenegger had on the on the bike. Right. He has that one. Yeah, it's yeah. it's got a Raptor grip and everything. It's nice. It this is. is a bad motherfucker. It really so. fucking is. But uh, yeah. So where are we headed with this, man? What's uh, next? What's on the agenda? Where we? Well, at? I mean, we did the uh, t tattoo competition, and uh, everybody be lookouts for that. How do people um like tattoo artists that want to do that? How do they? Oh, I'll, I'll be taking They're the good. invitations. All right, and we're gonna be coming with a video camera also to shoot you guys outside of your uh, outside of your studio, your tattoo studio, or shop, however you want to label it. So right. be ready for that too. I'll probably be doing this Monday. I was okay. supposed to do it Saturday, but. Life got uh, yeah. <laughs> life got busy, man. So the way he don't that sound like a nigga that was getting some pussy just <laughs> life, uh, uh, you know, uh, life yeah, just yeah. happens, you know. It got busy. <laughs> life, life just, just happens, busy. you know. It just things pop up, uh, you know? it just pops up, yeah. and then it goes down. And it <laughs> 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 uh, so. All right, so Monday, um, oh. If anybody that is a viewer or if you have a local business or you're an entrepreneur or you need something promoted, then feel free to contact your local Who That podcast because we are open to advertisers also. Yeah. And also, we're trying to get a VW bus. 
Yeah. But I was scrolling down Facebook and they have a, a float shaped like a boat that sits six people. So if you want to just help me get that, well, it's hit like that donate button. It. It's like 165. Yeah. So you hit that donate button and we can do a podcast from the road or the river. Right. <laughs> whichever one, whichever goal yeah. we hit first. I hit somebody <laughs> up. I noticed they had a camper in their backyard. And I was like, it's, it looks like it's just sitting there. That would be dope to like gut it. And then you know what I'm just saying. Retrofit the whole it was, fucking shit. Yeah, and Will go on the road. Allowed to smoke in it. Yeah, why wouldn't okay. you be allowed to smoke? All right, because there's a lot of expensive stuff. We're gonna retrofit it, but I want to make sure. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Yeah, yeah. 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 now nah, we definitely be able to smoke in it. Bet I'm with it. Yeah. If you want us to retrofit a camper and pull up at your local birthday party with a live podcast, donate. <laughs> We and do if you sign up parties. for the- <laughs> we do a birthday party, we do a bur- and, we, and we bring in a circus dancer with us. Said, uh, it's a full package. It is little Timmy's birthday party. He don't eat ass either. He don't <laughs> eat ass either. Welcome to the mothership, <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> we in this bitch. You're right. So wow, wow. We got the clown mask. We got the circus dancer. We got yeah. whole, full package. Like it was really nice. They came. They had a fire dancer. They made toys. <laughs> but the language was just really. Really bad. Strong. Yeah, he kept talking about eating ass and shit. And pussy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of he, pussy. They dropped a pee bomb in front of twenty six year olds. Yeah. <laughs> What's cosplay pussy, mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do you remember when me and dad went to the uh, the Captain Marvel? Uh, <laughs> that's when I seen more couples dressed up with, with the Captain Marvel. At their release, there were so many soccer moms dressed up as Captain Marvel, and their husband had to just. Bond no, most time they were Iron Man or somebody. I'm like, they where are y'all finding these? They had to go these... into it though. They yes. Like, oh my god, you know, you said you want to dress up last time, and I didn't want to do it. All right, so I saw this movie, yeah. and I think I want to go as her. Like, yeah. Uh, oh, I don't really want to go see Captain Marvel. No, you want to go last if time. If you want to dress up, then we that's the only way I'm doing it. If you want to hit it from the back as Captain Marvel, that's the only <laughs> way you're getting it. I am Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was standing out there. Yeah, yeah right. The flip up thing over that. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow, wow. Uh, so we're gonna get the mask done. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna print on the jumpsuits. We need to get the the, yeah, the yeah. glove, the gauntlet glove. No, they have yeah. gloves. They have gloves. The for real? Yeah, what now what type of gauntlet? You're not talking about the infinity gauntlet. Yeah. yeah the, I don't want an infinity gauntlet. You don't want an Infinity No, man, we're not in the MCU. We got our own universe. I just want one. You can order that shit. Yeah. They're cheap. They yeah. are? Yeah. yeah. You could probably get one for like 15 bucks. Or yeah. I got to oh, sell them at real. Walmart. Yeah. Right now, <laughs> you can go to Walmart and get man, that. smack on the ass with an Infinity Gauntlet. Rising <laughs> <laughs> all guns. <laughs> snapping. Snapping the whole time. <laughs> I'm going to make you come. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I'm going to knock the Infinity Stones out your shit. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> well, I think that's about it. I think we updated everybody. Yeah, everything's the, good. Advertising. Trying to get a VW. Uh, trying to get a boat. Right. Um, tattoo competitions coming up. Uh, do we have anything else? Do you have anything coming up? I don't have anything right now. None? Do I have anything? I don't, I don't have anything. Just right check now. the photography list. Yeah. Check out the photography list. Hit me up if, you, if you're trying to shoot. Let's yeah. do something. Um. Um, maybe what would motivate you guys to sign up for a Patreon? Just email or ask us on the page. Money. Yeah, like, because at one point I was like, well, a lot of our hosts are models. Maybe we could post some of their stuff. Mm. You know what I mean? You get that exclusive stuff. That's cool. And then some exclusive scenes. Like, if she was, like, dance ready, we could, you know what I mean? We could have been live on that for a Patreon. Cool. But, you know, just stuff like that. I don't know. What would motivate you? Let us know. Put it in the comments or whatever it may be. Let us know what we need to do. So, but um, thank you for coming on, Muffin. Oh yeah, no problem. Man, yeah, I yeah, really appreciate, appreciate y'all having me on. I'll be telling him he's part of the team. I'm like, you're part of the team. I need you. <laughs> I need you good yes, and healthy. Man. You're part of the team. You're part of the team. We like, need you ready. <laughs> I always have creative ideas, and I need people who can deliver. Right. You know. That's what's up. So, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. All right. Any anything you want to say to everyone before we? Uh, I don't know. Just everybody have a good night. I guess have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, what about you? All bonded up here. Yeah, <laughs> up. Those um, heels are 
fucking amazing. Yeah. You, you want to try them on? No. Okay. no. <laughs> there's, I don't think there's anything. I'm a short guy. Yard. There's nothing I could do with those heels. Like, now I'm talking about wearing them. Just period. Like, my old lady put them on. Like, I don't think there's nothing I could do with them. I'm ch- I don't. I don't back down. I'm gonna tackle her big ass. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you, you can tackle her. Yeah. If she came into the room with those, I'm like, oh, we on that today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let That's me, what we doing right I'll now. I'll be right back. Let right. me go get my jug of coconut oil. <laughs> right. Like, right. Where's, where's the clear uh, shower <laughs> shower curtain? Yeah, right. Straight, straight oh, into yeah. eating some ass, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I might have to eat ass as, right. much, as tall as she going to be. It's yeah, right there. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't even have to get on my knees, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, I did forget. I, I do up. bachelor parties as well. Bachelor parties? Yes. Like, what do you do? What does a bachelor party consist of? I can do of? burlesque sex. I mean, I can do any of, like, the stuff that I do now. Okay. But for bachelors. Right. I bachelors do pole dancing. Stripper, so. Yes, I can do pole dancing. Okay. I can right. do it like a burlesque pole dancing because right. I do not get fully nude. Like, right. it's just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Of course. But of course. Yeah. if they're not okay with that, then, <laughs> yeah. then I guess don't book, book me. Elsewhere. Yeah. yeah, right, But, right, right. I mean, if they want what I can bring, like, I, can, I mean, I can even do fire for them. I mean. So, okay. That's a bachelor party right there. Yeah. Right. You don't get fully nude. Be a real What is that? Like, yeah. elaborate for them. So it's like a just under bra, right? Pasties, right? And okay. just bottoms. Yeah, gotcha. fishnets. That's enough. Fishnet bottom like, type thing. Type uh, of. Like. Like if you like can't swimsuit bottoms on the right. like oh, okay. Or sw- okay. Yeah. it's not okay. like a thong, but it's also skimpy enough Boy, where you, right, yeah, right. you can still see some stuff. Uh, and, and to uh, me, if you can't make it mentally work with that then you've got other issues you know yeah. what i mean like yeah. <laughs> you don't really need like i don't need to go to a strip club and just see vagina vagina you can just do that at home yeah computer. right right i'm there for that fluid motion you know what i mean i want to see them dance i want to see how they get down and you know what you got some oh yeah you want to eat watermelon we had to do the coonery and eat watermelon. That's what we said. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It was taking a little bit longer than I thought. Yeah. Uh, I like watermelon. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'm from the South. Yeah. yeah. I, I love watermelon. I and watermelon is a natural aphrodisiac and makes your dick bigger. For men, if you are having uh, any erectile problems, eat you some watermelon <laughs> 45 minutes before you give her the uh, the, the Really? Yep. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, there's your tip for the day. Watermelon <laughs> for the day. <laughs> So, wow. Watermelon for the D. <laughs> <laughs> so, w- are you preparing right now? Do you have an en- engagement nope. after this? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I just eat watermelon and wear condoms randomly. Yeah. You, don't know <laughs> you don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know. You got to be in the game. It's going to happen at any point in time. So. You stay prepared. You ain't got to get ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, y'all, I, I surely appreciate everybody tuning in. It'll be up all week. You know, this will air on the actual podcast in about probably two weeks. So, this is just the behind the scenes. You guys can check it out, interact, whatever it may be. And um, make sure you check out the actual podcast when it drops because we do have skits and exclusive stuff on there. Yeah, it's we add a little bit of extra stuff rather than just this. So, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for tuning in. I think we're about to uh, sign out. You know, out from the mothership. Peace. Bitches.